I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it's a fun little drop. Um, you know, it gets the adrenaline pumping. Every time you do it, I mean, adrenaline's pumping just like I'm doing a race. So every time I do that drop off, it's just scary. You just do a drop, you just all of a sudden headed off of a cliff. So it's fun, it's crazy. Mark, awesome, you weren't on board on it. No fan, not a fan of the cliff. Oh, it was pretty crazy to watch it from back behind. It looks sketchy. As a, the car just is there, and then it's gone. <laughs> I could, I couldn't see that you were nose heavy. I didn't see any of that. Just gone, Just gone. Borderline lawn darting, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And last time I did it, I've done it before, and I didn't lawn dart, so I don't know what was going on today. It was like you know maybe a two foot difference between the front and the back. It wasn't like bow sending. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> the Y and Z over the tabletop. Wasn't Guys, quite a hands. The man. second video on the channel. If you want to go back and watch that one, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, I don't think it was probably. He's gonna to send it. <laughs> but no, it was way fun out here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Do it for now. <laughs> Do it for now. <laughs> supercharging vehicles for years you know the, i like yeah. that <laughs> i'll take that one <laughs> <laughs> there's one right there <laughs> we'll just do swampsies give you mine get, you give me yours how you doing good how are you all right steve i'm dallin good to be here so how much boost you running roughly uh it's not much i think it's only like six or eight eight pounds six or eight pounds do it Did a turbo kit for the Talon, but everything else you're doing a supercharger. Same, yeah, same uh, setup, same supercharger, same intercooler. Uh, pretty, the layout is pretty much like almost identical. On, on okay. There. What about the KRX? The KRX. Go. Uh, this looks nice. Yeah. So this is our dual exhaust that we're going to be releasing for for most of the vehicles. Okay. Uh, so it's made out of titanium. Uh, really nice setup, super light, you save a lot of weight. Too. Okay. So, as you can see, this one supercharged as well. It has the same uh, head unit, the, the C15 Rotrex. Um, and yeah, 
Yeah. So this one, we have it on, on, on iBoost too. The setup has itself a uh, cooling oiling system for the supercharger so you don't tap into the motor. Okay. Um, and we advertise all, all of our kits are bolt-on. So bolt-on? No, everything is a bolt-on. No cutting, no, nice. no welding. Uh, you can have to do this in, we usually say about 8 to 10 hours. Okay. And uh, we offer the base tunes for all of our vehicles, the Talon's a little, you need a little additional tuning, but okay. Um, the RZR, uh, the YXZ, and the KRX, our tunes are pretty dialed in. Nice. So you can download those, get a PV3. And do you say you need to do pistons to it, or you guys are just doing pistons base to kit, it? Base kit is safe to run without. Okay. But if you're going high boost, then you need the pistons. Correct. correct, correct okay. Correct, correct. And so, base, what are you getting power wise? Uh, they're all around the same power level, so 60% increase is what okay. we go for. Nice, and that's, a, that's the thing with the superchargers. It has a nice linear power band. Yeah, so I like that. So you don't get that turbo lag, and when you need the power, it's there. And drivability too, once you're, you're cruising in, you're not, you know, on full bottle, you won't get, you know, it'll feel like a stock wheel. But yeah, when you it felt it, very, it felt stock as far as delivery, other than just twice the horse, you know, more or less. like. The delivery is good, like that's my biggest knock on like Can-Am. The delivery is horrible on them because they're just, it's all or nothing. Yes. But you could still race this and like enjoy it and not not just be like, okay, I have a insane power or no power. Yeah. That's what I like about that. Any uh, projections on this time frame? When they'll be released uh, us buyers? Uh, the, the demand's there, so that puts a little pressure on us. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, there is, the whole logistics of getting it to scale that yeah. takes a little takes a yeah. little bit of time have, like everything's 100 percent stock in that exhaust i'm just surprised you're getting so much with that yeah exhaust yeah. being so, so stuffled the, we could have we could we have our, our race numbers that we could have done yeah that's no no problem but part of the testing is how would it hold up with the stock exhaust oh you think people will run stock exhaust with the supercharger we have people doing it on our oh, talents really? and stuff yeah oh, really some people don't like the, that loud rowdiness it's yeah yeah power. so if if our kit requires you to eliminate that it's just an extra variable that people have to oh, okay pay for so this is why we kept the stock exhaust and we're trying to make or we're going to make it work with it. yeah okay uh, so it's safe it's still reliable you get more power and if you just want to add the supercharger you can just add the supercharger you won't have to do anything else nice. is there more room to grow there for obviously what do you think overall, Austin? Crap works. I mean, it looks like they're making good quality stuff here. Um, I like, I'm kind of a, in the kind of the school of like, if you want to go faster, you should probably just buy a faster car. Now, if you already bought a Pro R and you still want to go faster, then I'd say talk to these boys. That This one makes sense a lot more to me then, yeah, for I sure. I wouldn't buy an XP1000 and then put a supercharger on it. I'd just buy a Turbo S. Um, yeah. it, it, you might end up saving a little money to go this route, but like, I don't... You can't go fast if you don't have a good suspension. The KRX being good, because if people love the KRX model and the YXZ model, and you can't get a faster model of those. So those, those I think, make a lot of sense. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's got 35s on it and he can spin them in four wheel drive on the pavement. This is one big hill, but it's long. Like some of the best moments on camera like one being that ball joint issue two being the jump starting three being uh dallin was trying to load his uh, pro r on the trailer and just inch it up to the stop on the front of the trailer and he forgot he had it in race mode and kind of um got a little throttle happy the those <laughs> throttle settings actually make a difference on the pro r <laughs> <laughs> they made a big difference i about jumped off of the trailer got so lucky it was just hanging on there by it barely by with my tire i was able to back it back on without having to like totally winch it back onto my own trailer um so yeah that was that was sketchy what was the other thing that happened i i may or may not have um yeah no i definitely ran into the back of that one's pro r pretty oh, yeah. good <laughs> <laughs> yeah you did run into me it was just rubber on uh, metal so no no harm no foul you know a little little tire on uh, radius rod action and i was already on the brakes but uh yeah, yeah it happened
happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool though. I mean, just a little love. So, a, little, a little love tap. <laughs> a little love tap. I might have a little black mark there, but you know, nothing's broke. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Do it for now. <laughs>